BBC News with Eileen McHugh. President Biden has arrived in Northern Ireland to mark the 25th anniversary of a peace deal that ended decades of conflict. He was greeted by the British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak in Belfast as a heavy police presence. The lower house of the Russian parliament has made it harder for conscripts to avoid fighting in Ukraine. Call-up notices will be moved online and will be valid even if the person involved hasn't seen it. Those who've been drafted also won't be able to travel abroad. The Pentagon says it's taking the leak of classified US documents extremely seriously. Many of them relate to the war in Ukraine. The US Defence Secretary Lloyd Austin said investigators would turn over every rock in their search for the source of the leak. The IMF has cut its forecasts for global growth, although it says most countries should avoid recession. It said uncertainty in the banking sector had caused increased risks. About 30 armed men have killed at least nine people at a port in northern Ecuador. The authorities say the indiscriminate attack is thought to be linked to a dispute about demands for protection money by criminal gangs. The West African grouping ECOWAS has called for the release of children who were abducted in northern Nigeria last week. In total, 80 people were seized in Zamfara state. Kidnappings for ransom have become common in the area. A UN envoy has given an optimistic assessment of efforts to end the civil war in Yemen. He said talks between the Saudis and the Houthi rebels were deep and serious. And a pair of shoes that belong to Michael Jordan have fetched more than $2 million at auction. The basketball star wore the trainers when he won his sixth and final NBA title in 1998. They were originally given to a ball boy after the game. BBC News.